Hello, my beautiful people. You welcome back again to my channel. Yes, now maybe the worry get. I greet you according to your time, according to where you hearing me from today. So, my people, mm, I will be talking about the Isoko people of Delta State. These are some of the ethnic group that I've not really talked about in my channel. So today, I've decided to come out to talk a brief history of the Isoko people of Delta State. You know, like people, they always think that Urobo and Isoko, you know, there is no uh, difference between these two people. Actually, if you understand the Isoko language and the Urobo language, you know that there is a big, huge difference even though with the urobos we still hear some of the 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 words from the isoko our neighbors okay so my people today i want you to listen and also please try to contribute what you know about the isoko people as i'll be talking about it i'll just be focusing on one side of the isoko people which is the isoko south then on the next video i'll be talking about the isoko north so my people today i'll just be giving you a brief history of the isoko people of delta state so the Isoko people, as we know, they are unique people found in Delta State of Nigeria. They are the heart of the Niger Delta. I know a lot of people will be like, why did you say that? You will soon find that why I say so. It is a district ethnic group made of 90 clans with a total of about 2.1 million people. That was the last, um, what they call it, population census of 20, uh, 2006 or thereabouts. Isoko is a region of the Delta State and Baisa State in South Nigeria and it is inhabited by an ethnic group of the same name which is the Isoko people and this region is divided into two local government areas which is the Isoko North with its headquarter in Ozoro and Isoko South with their headquarter at Ole. So the different communities in Isoko not local government are being governed by a monarch constituted by the Delta State government. So my people, before I will be talking about the names of this, uh, the monarch and their titles, I would just like to, I want us to get a small history of the Isoko people. The Isoko people migrated historically from the Bini Kingdom in nearby Edo State and therefore they also share some cultural similarities with the Bini people. So the area later formed part of Bendel State before Bendel State was split to form Edo and Delta State. For some of us that are here, you are very good in history. Please let us know about this if you know anything about it, okay? And the Isoko South and North local government area, they were established on 23rd of September 1991 when the former Isoko North local government area was subdivided. So my people, and that is just a brief history of the Isoko people. We know that according to oral tradition, the first group of Isoko ancestors they migrated to the region of Delta State, which the Isoko people now occupy from Benin. It is said that the ancestors, this first group were Erowa, the senior Uzere, and Okbe. The second group, as stated by oral tradition, they also left Bini during the reign of Oba Ozolwa. And according to history, Oba Ozolwa, I've talked about it before, he ruled Bini from 1483 until 1514. It was during this time that the ancestors of Iyede led the second group out of Beni Kingdom. So my people, this is just a brief. I'm not going to go into details because I'll be talking about the Isoko South. Okay, so that is what I'm going to be based on today. So if you are from Isoko South, please do not forget to comment on this video. Whenever we're talking about your place, do not always try to 
take excuse or just look and just go. Someone might talk about where you are coming from. Your own is just to contribute. And that is why most time, you know, I like to put out what people they like to watch. Not just nobody is there you get me and that's why i focus on bini mostly i focus on bini because why there are people they want to really learn they some of them they learned a lot of things and they want to talk about it to the whole world from the comment section you will see that 80 percent of the bini when i post they always interact in the comment section so my people on the list let's continue with what i was saying so the different community in isoko south local government area i told you before that they are being governed by a mona constituted by the delta state government and the names and title as follow is royal majesty a we read the second the ova of emede kingdom is the monarch governing emede community then we have his royal majesty Ovrawa Antony Omoga the first JP FCAI is the audiologo of com of uh, Ole community okay is the mona governing Ole community so my people this is the king that is truly Isoko South which I will be talking about today Isoko South is a local government area in the Isoko region of Delta State Nigeria with its headquarters at Ole it is one of the two local governments that made up the Isoko region. The other is Isoko North, which I've told you about, which has its headquarters at Ozoro. So my people, what next are we going to talk about, about these people? The local population, they are primarily the Isoko people. And they have 11 communities in Isoko South. And each of them are subdivided into several clans. Community inhabiting Isoko South include the Aviara, Olomoro, Emede, Ewe, Erowa, Igbide, Iri, Okbalo, Ole, Ume, and Uzere. So my people what else are we going to talk about uh about the isoko south okay one of them is that you know the isoko people uh the isoko south or isoko people generally their main occupation is fishing and agriculture okay and they also have a tourist center one of the tourist center where you can just go is the alaya bible uh, tourist center this center is believed that in those days you know the bible fell from heaven i don't know about that story but they told us okay i don't really know much about it it is believed that the the bible came from heaven and today that place is a tourist center you can go it's a place you cannot even go inside people from araya you can also let us know it's a place where anyone cannot just go because it is first around they face that place when you go there you can just go and just like you go for sightseeing okay so that is it and i want to tell you about another thing about this uh our isoko people okay now they still have another tourist center which they call the any of uzere uzere and the sand beaches of irogbo my people these are some of the tourist areas where you can still visit when you are in araya okay so they have festival of course i will not be talking about their festivals but you know let's talk about <laughs> one major thing oh no our brother when did they call daddy shoki daddy shoki now from there yes his real name is john odafe esiemo that is the real name of daddy shoki i don't know if you guys know him. the guy was saying somebody call him my name shoki people they call him my name daddy shoki where they call him my name <laughs> oh my god daddy shoki so my people 
for another video i go let on and know the reason why i say the isoko people they are the heart of the niger delta so if you want to watch our video stay tuned mm -hmm. i go let on us know so make on let us know for the comment section if i've not talked about anything about the isoko south uh people let us know in the comment section i will see you guys in my next video bye god bless you do not forget to subscribe to my channel now your worry get now they talk on a bye.